a music producer goes to space on a mission to discover some of the universe's strangest secrets. It sounds like the premise for a new sci-fi movie or series, but what if I told you that this is the description for a playlist on a YouTube channel? In the previous lesson, you learned how to make your content interesting. In this lesson, we'll take that to the next level by finding an irresistible angle or taking an existing topic and presenting it in a new or interesting way. That's what YouTuber and music producer Andrew Huang did for his new album, Space Time. Andrew Huang is a partially deaf musician from Toronto who uses his YouTube channel to share educational content around music production and to showcase his songs from a library of more than 40 albums he's produced. For people who are into music production and enjoy the kind of music Andrew makes, the content on his channel is already really interesting. The Space Time playlist he produced on his channel makes the interesting irresistible. Sure, he could just teach music production or share samples of his songs, but instead he takes us on a journey into outer space, introducing us to a strange new world filled with interesting sounds, walking us through how to record and shape those sounds into music, and using the songs from his new album as examples and the soundtrack for the whole adventure. This is one of the more outside-the-box approaches to using an irresistible angle, but there are a number of different ways you can find an irresistible angle for your content. Let's check out some examples from other creators. A new format. In the previous lesson, one of the examples we shared was Jonathan and Ashley Longnecker's documentary. It's also a fantastic example of finding an irresistible angle. Homesteading content is becoming more and more popular, and there are tons of channels that provide how-to content for everything related to the subject. But few have taken the approach of documenting a large project like the Longneckers, and even fewer have taken the time to turn that footage into a well-produced two-hour documentary. We were recording every single day that we worked on the project. We had all the footage. Like I, I don't think we would have been able to make something nearly as interesting if we hadn't put in the work to record every single day. We were really intentional each day so that by the time we got to the end of it and we can make this full build, we had a whole lot to work with, probably almost too much. It was, <laughs> it was, it was a lot to work through. Like we mentioned in the previous lesson, this approach paid off because that video alone has garnered more than 3.4 million views. A new format doesn't necessarily have to be a huge project. M. Connors, whose content we also checked out in the previous lesson, takes a unique approach to teaching Canva tips. There's so many people who do exactly what I do, you know, but the secret ingredient is me and my personality and the way I teach it that are going to attract certain people to me. If you do a search for Canva tips, there are tons of longer articles and videos out there to take you step by step through just about anything you can do with Canva. M's irresistible angle is her personality-filled short form approach to providing Canva tips using Instagram Reels. Giving her audience quick wins has earned her more than 55,000 followers on the platform. Improvement on an existing solution. Podia creator Emily Mills discovered an irresistible angle when she saw a gap in what was being offered in the podcast space for the topic of sketchnoting. And so I was like, well, all my opportunities are in his shortcomings and just kind of thinking, okay, this is a visual medium. Why is there a podcast about it? I honestly don't listen to the podcast because I'm not interested in hearing about their work. I'm interested in seeing their work because he interviews other people who do sketchnoting and drawing and that kind of work. And so I'm like, I'll just do video interviews. And it's the same format, but people get to see the work and I bring up their favorite examples and I ask them kind of broad questions, but people get to actually see their face and their mannerisms and their work and kind of make that human connection, which I thought was more important than just hearing about it. If you're someone who's into sketchnoting, you might be interested enough to listen to a podcast, but the idea of seeing professional artists talk about and show their work in real time is irresistible. Sharing progress. Emily uses another irresistible angle to share her work, which is sharing every completed sketchnoting piece even the one she's not proud of. I have been posting on social media. I just made a rule for myself when I started learning sketchnoting. I'm going to share every single one, even if I'm not proud of them, because that'll make me get better. And so I was posting consistently on social media. My following was growing and people were really interested in 
not only just looking at my sketch notes, but learning how to do it. I think I was being seen as an inspiration and people wanted to learn from me. And so people started asking, oh, are you going to teach this? Leonardo da Vinci's masterpieces are breathtaking, and the idea of being able to paint like him seems out of reach for most. But if you check out one of his earliest artistic works, it's much more attainable as a starting point. People love seeing a progression, and when you show your work, it makes it easier for them to believe they can learn from you. By letting aspiring sketchnote artists see all of her work, the good and the not so good, Emily makes her content irresistible. Expert analysis. Another irresistible angle that's gained a ton of popularity lately is expert analysis. Expert analysis usually consists of an expert reviewing something like a news story or a creative work and offering their insights and opinions based on their expertise. Here are some of my favorite examples. VFX Artists React, a series from the YouTube channel Corridor Crew, reviews clips from movies and TV series and breaks down the VFX process for creating the shots. There's tons of content out there for folks who want to learn specific VFX software and techniques, but this approach makes it fun and accessible even for people who aren't interested in learning VFX. The charismatic voice, run by Elizabeth Zaroff, offers breakdowns of some of the most moving vocals and musical compositions and gets into the science behind why those tones and sounds actually make us feel things. Cinema Therapy features licensed therapist Jonathan Decker and professional filmmaker Alan Seawright, where they break down scenes from popular movies and discuss how well they line up with a professional approach to therapy and real human psychology. Are you an expert in something? Your analysis of things that are relevant to your niche could be an irresistible angle for your audience. Numbers and challenges. Looking for more ideas for an interesting angle? Look to the numbers. Some creators use large or small dollar amounts, some number of days, or a number of repetitions to make their content irresistible. Examples include Ryan Trahan, who spent 100 days playing Pokemon VR, or Mr. Beast, who paid a weightlifter $1 for every curl of a one-pound dumbbell. Or Michelle Kerr, who trained like a Broadway star for six weeks. Like Michelle Kerr, you could also go the route of taking on some kind of interesting or even impossible challenge, like climbing an 85-foot cliff with only a week of training. Or, like the McElroy Brothers podcast, the McElroy Brothers will be in Trolls World Tour, which chronicles their attempts to get into the cast of the movie Trolls World Tour. Ready, little buddy? Let's do this, King Troll! These ideas may seem a little out there, but if you're thinking about interesting challenges in your niche, you can probably find a few ideas from these creators and tweak them to fit your content and audience. Now that you've got some ideas for making interesting and even irresistible content, it's time to get that content in front of people. But is simply hitting publish enough? We'll answer that question in the next lesson. Hey there, if you're watching this course on YouTube, I wanted to let you know that you can get the full experience of this course for free at podia.com slash get dash noticed. You get access to all the worksheets, guides, and additional resources, and you get to have conversations with other creators who are also taking this course. Again, just sign up at podia.com slash get dash noticed.